Hey, Fiberistas. Okay, so by now you've knit the cuff, the leg, and the heel flap of your sock. So now we're going to turn the heel. Um, I know that the pattern, it, it probably might not make sense when you're just reading through it. It's one of those things where you just have to trust the pattern and, and follow their directions and then it'll make sense. So I've also included this video just, um, just to show you, just so you can make sure that you're, you're on the right track. So anyway, let's head on over to the demo table. Okay, Fiberistas, so we've just ended with a pearl row from the heel flap. That's something I didn't mention in the, in the uh, pattern, but I'll correct that. Anyway, so you end with a pearl row for your heel flap. So to shape the heel, I'm going to show you. All right, we start off with knitting two stitches past the center of the heel flap. So if I've got 18 stitches on my needle, so I'm going to go to 11 stitches. So I will knit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Slip, slip, knit, knit one, and then turn. Okay, so now I'm on the purl row, the second row. So I slip, knit in purl five, one, two, three, four, five, purl two together, purl one, and then turn. See, so we're making short rows to shape that, that heel flap. All right. So now we're on row three. So I slip one, knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I want to show you something. You see here how there's a little gap right there? That's where I did my, you see where, where my uh, um, purl two together was, and then my knit one, and it created a gap. That's going to cue you to to do the um, the decrease stitch. So it will either be the slip slip knit, or if you're on the purl side, it'll be the purl two together. So, and it's going to be those two stitches. You're going to close that gap with your decrease stitch. Okay, so we're slip slip knit knit one. And then I turn and detangle my yarn from my needles. All right, so let's let's check that out on the purl row. So again, we're on to row four. Slip one, purl seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so you see that gap? You see that gap? So I'm going to use that decrease stitch to close that gap. Okay, that's my purl two together, purl one, and turn. Okay, so whoop, put my stitches back on the needle. All right, so as you can see, that's, you know, I say to continue to shape the heel working one more stitch in the middle. So one more stitch in the middle is this area right here. So where I either purled five or knit six or purled seven. So the next, you would just kind of go in that same sequence. But the uh, the easy way to do it would be to also look for that gap. So, so here I would once again always start with that slip stitch. Knit, 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 six, seven, eight. All right. So you see that gap? There's that gap again. All right. So I'm going to do my decrease stitch to close that gap. Knit one 
and turn. See, now I'm at the end of that row, so I'm about to finish this off. So then I'm purling, purling back. So I slip one, purl, purl. seven, eight, nine. Okay, you see that gap? There's that gap again. All right, see that gap? So I'm going to purl these two together and then purl that last stitch. So there you have it. I've, I've come to the end of my row and you can see I've shaped my heel you can see it has a little bit of a okay okay so now we're on to uh, working the gusset picking up the stitches for the gusset 